Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mrs. Swifty and today we're back in Planet Zoo. We are actually um, trying something a little bit different today. I decided I had recorded um, actually the next two videos as one, in one chunk um, but it just took me so long that I decided to try splitting it up into two. So today's episode we're just doing the safari um for the lion habitat and then in tomorrow's episode will be the actual habitat build itself so each of these videos is like just over 10 minutes long rather than putting them together in like a 20 25 minute video i thought i'd try it's uh, splitting it up into two 10 minute videos so let me know guys in the comments down below if you prefer that if you prefer a shorter video do let me know so today's build and tomorrow's build is dedicated to jeremy thank you jeremy for asking for a build jeremy asked for a wild, uh, west african lion habitat uh, and he asked for a safari ride to go through it so um i won't give anything away about the habitat because there's some stuff about the habitat as well that he asked for but i'll chat about that in the next video when we look at the habitat today we're doing the uh, safari station so we have the path coming off from the red panda habitat our little asia habitat over there and then i also put this um little path all the way around from the bengal tiger habitat which is there on the left um i'm planning obviously to put more exhibits and habitats in this zoo so i wanted to make sure that there was space for like um guests to like circumvent the whole park and everything and I don't know if you spotted there as well, on the right I've made like um, a big section of path and we're going to turn that into a little like food court amenities sort of area but I'm not going to do that in today's episode, that will be in another uh, episode to come. In fact, if you um, would like me to build you a habitat, and so if you have an animal that maybe your favourite animal, um, if they're in the game or a similar animal if, you, if it's not in the game then I would love to build that for you um, and then we can always make the food court area theme to whatever animal we're doing. Um, for your build so do comment down below if you want me to build you a habitat i would love 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 to build you a habitat so please comment down below with your uh, animal or and any like suggestions for the habitat that you would like um, and i might even get in touch and ask you some more questions so that would be really great if you want to do that so we're building the station um i wanted to do something interesting i didn't want to just do something basic you know so um, we kind of go with a combination of white plaster and the like wooden log slats um, which I think work really well for like the African type theme um, but it's not too um, I don't know it's not it's not too much I feel like it's not too much so the archways here didn't quite line up so I had to um, put in some plaster pieces um, and yeah to fill in the gaps in between but the we end up putting some windows here which I think turn out really nicely so we um and we put like a, a blue um, window frame on them as well which I think works out really nicely so I think this would be really fun to go on like a little safari ride to a lion habitat I am considering if we get another uh, African animal suggested then we could extend the safari ride to go um, out through another habitat before it comes back to the station. Um, I think that would be pretty cool. So if you have, if you want me to do your giraffe habitat or zebra habitat or anything like that, or even just a savannah with lots of different um, African animals, then please comment down below and I'll do that for you. So that would be great. Um, I love these sorts of things, these like rides. I'm a, I'm a bit of a thrill seeker. I love a kind of, I love a good ride or a theme park or whatever. It's been a while since I've been to like a proper theme park, but actually, actually, that's not strictly true because uh, at Christmas for my daughter's first birthday, obviously we were not in lockdown then, but we uh, were in like tier four or, or tier, uh, one of the tiers, I can't remember which one we were in at that point. Um, so a lot of places were shut we weren't allowed to gather in groups we haven't been obviously for basically a year so I, we weren't allowed to have like a party or anything so we decided we would try and take her to chesington so we went to chesington world of adventures uh in december for their like special uh, christmas um theme event thing i can't remember what it was called now Oh, I'll have to oh, I can't remember <laughs> but it was a lot of fun most of the rides were shut unfortunately and any indoor rides were obviously shut um, by that point which was sad because I really wanted to take her on the Gruffalo ride they have there but it was shut which made me very sad but um, we still had a really lovely time and actually my husband and I got to go on the vampire ride because that one was open so yeah we had a really nice time actually and that's just like yeah I love that sort of thing love sort of rides or 
uh, zoos and attractions and stuff so I think it's cool that you can kind of put these in your game that you can have like a combination of like rides and exhibits so there are other transport rides in the game as well there are a couple of like um ones that like monorail type ones or ones that like hang down or there's a train as well so if you want me to do um, a build with a transport ride in as well a different one with a different um, transport ride then do comment that down below I'd love to build that for you so we're going to do some window boxes here just to um, decorate the outside a little bit make it a little bit more interesting I had a little bit of difficulty because I wanted to put the mulch in there um, but it was obviously not the right size so I had to put it on its side to make it thin enough um, and then obviously trying to find plants that were not going to clip through the window and the window box was a little bit tricky but I think we made it work I think it looks came out really nicely in the end um, yeah we got some nice flowers and we're gonna have the window box here and on the other window and then we're actually gonna turn these boxes into planters and use them um, later in the build as well so yeah I think it came out really nicely it's a nice ivy so yeah I think uh, yeah I like it I think it comes out well so we're just kind of finishing off the window boxes I'm gonna switch up a little bit for this one also I don't want them to look exactly the same so that um, yeah a little bit of an adjustment and then we're going to put these hanging baskets as well lots of like plants and greenery on this um station but yeah i think it looks really nice i'm really happy with it i would love to go on like a real safari i've never um done that it's not something i've ever had the opportunity to do i've not been to africa at all um i've, I've traveled a little bit in um eastern europe particularly i love um Serbia is one of my favorite places to go in the world and I haven't been for a few years now just because of circumstances like having my daughter and obviously this year we haven't been able to travel at all um, but yeah shout out to my friends in Serbia love you guys um, but yeah I do I do love Eastern Europe it is wonderful um, and I have I did visit America um, one time one time for a couple of months but um, yeah I was in like the north of America so north of North America it was quite cold and snowy it was not like uh Florida style so I would love to go to like Disney World in uh Florida that would be amazing I'd go to like Universal and yeah that would be so cool <laughs> yeah that's kind of my idea of a good time I think so yeah we're just finishing off a bit more decoration I wanted to put a bit more here I think I changed this lion out for the limestone one because I put the wood behind there I thought it looked better to have the white and match the walls a bit better so we're gonna do now a sort of like a uh, pergola type thing it's like it's basically it's a shade it's a cover so this zoo is built in a temperate climate which is um, in theory where the sort of climate where I live in the UK um, and obviously we know that it, it rains a lot here and it can get cold um, so initially I was just gonna do like a sh sun shade and then I decided that that was a bit silly considering where it was so <laughs> we end up making it, uh, it, it so it looks a bit like a sun shade but it actually does have a glass roof so yeah we're gonna do lots of wooden planks um, and it's gonna look a bit like um, the sort of thing you'd have in a garden like I'm really struggling with them. Do I mean a pergola? Maybe I just mean a pergola. I'm sure there's another name for it. Like a canopy type thing that covers you from, you know, a bit of the bit of the sun. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna put glass on top of it basically. So if you're queuing for the safari ride, then you're not gonna get too wet, <laughs> basically. Um I think that's important. It's important to uh, make sure that your guests don't get soaking wet. So yeah, here we go, that's the glass, and I just had to adjust it a little bit to make sure that it fit. But yeah, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I think it looks really pretty. Um, and maybe you could do a little bit more decoration on the inside of the station, but I figure you're not spending much time in there. So I didn't worry about it too much. We're gonna put some signs up now that just say like Lion Safari. And yeah, we're nearly done with the build actually. There's not too much longer to go. I need to finish up um, some fencing and stuff. Obviously the habitat isn't done I did the whole station before I started on the habitat so if you're wanting to see the West, West African lion habitat build that is gonna go up tomorrow so keep an eye out for that um, it will be up in the morning tomorrow so I'm just gonna record the voiceover for it after this actually so 
yeah i think it turned out really nicely we end up with some little lion cubs as well at the end of the video so that was really cute um yeah and yeah i, I don't want to give too much away i, I want you to go away to watch the video so i'm not going to give too much away but uh, i i would like to say i use these window boxes as like um planters but then obviously that some of the plants are kind of clipping through so i decided to actually build this sort of custom wooden log fence i actually think it turned out really nicely i really like it um we actually used it on the other side of the path as well um just because uh, I couldn't get fencing to go all the way along. I think that might be in tomorrow's video, so you'll have to keep an eye out for that tomorrow. So we're just going to finish off by just blocking off this um, piece of track here, because obviously you don't want any of your guests getting in front of the safari trucks. That would not be good. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, keep an eye out for tomorrow's video, which will be uploaded soon. And I'll see you um, very soon. Don't forget to comment down below if you want me to build you a habitat. And please like this video if you like it. And subs consider subscribing if you're enjoying my videos. It just really, really helps out the channel if you do that. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.